Are big video game companies ready to adopt blockchain technology? The short answer, not yet. And there's really two reasons. One technology, one economic. So on the technology side, blockchain really isn't ready for big video game scale. I've talked about this in other videos, but it's too slow today. And it also lacks a lot of the tools that people building, a, let's say a big video game would need to access. So the technology is immature. Now, even if it was ready, there's a bigger problem, and that's the economic one. Big video game companies are afraid of how blockchain might change their business model. There's an old business rule, don't mess with what's working, right? And today, big video game companies sell a lot of virtual items. Their business model is working. They sell these virtual items with some perceived scarcity. Now, there's no way to know how scarce those items really are because there's no digital ledger to track them, but people put value, attach value to these virtual items. Big video game companies make money and they're happy. So the worry that a lot of video game companies would have is if people can buy from each other by using blockchain to transfer items back and forth, why would they buy from the company? And that is scary. So. Basically, big video game companies know the, their existing business model, it's predictable, and they're happy with it. So to introduce a new technology would be to disrupt that and possibly have an unintended consequence. So for right now, they're sitting on the sidelines. Could one company decide they're going to go forward and, and adopt it in, in, let's say, the next couple of years? Sure, but I think that would only come from either greed, they've discovered a way to really monetize using blockchain, or fear. Maybe their business is starting to decline and they're going to try anything. Now, this doesn't mean that no one is going to build video games uh, on blockchain in the short term. In fact, it's already being done. But Who's doing it? Well, new entrants, what we call indie developers, independent game developers. And they're able to do that or willing to do that because frankly, they either are just building a game out today or they have a small game, very little installed technology. There's no big profitable enterprise. There's no big profitable franchise to protect. And so they're willing to experiment with a new technology, even given the risks. So. Big video game companies, they're going to sit on the sidelines for a while. They're going to wait it out much like they did with mobile. With mobile, they waited until the business model was proven, the technology was stable, and then they went in and started building lots of video games for mobile users. I think that's what's going to happen. If you're interested in how blockchain and video games can come together, what new business models can come out of that, particularly in the secondary market, the trading market of those virtual items, we've prepared a white paper that you can access from the link below.